Okay, I have another question that's from me. It's about sure it's uh, for you. 22. How can Jesus give them the same glory that he had when this is the glory that belongs only to God? Gee, I've never heard that one. Is that the question? Yeah, because in Isaiah. Gee, uh, I've never heard that one. Verse 8. Gee, I never heard that one. Uh, Jesus is going to give them the same glory the Father gave Jesus. And how can that be? Because, you know, you, that's the glory of God. You can't give it to a creature. It's all for Jesus, right? That, see, how do I know you're going to ask me that question? <laughs> I don't know. Are you? As, am I scaring you? You're like, man, this dude is a prophet. He can read my mind. <laughs> right? You probably, like, deal with it. That's exactly. Because I've heard this question 50 million times. That's right. So here's the question. How could Jesus say, the glory you gave me, Father, I gave to them? I gave to them the glory you gave to me. When that's the glory that belongs to God alone. Well, very easy. Yeah. Who told you that there's only one type of glory that Jesus is referring to? Who told you there's only one kind of glory? Let me tell you that the glory that Jesus is giving them is not the glory that belongs to God alone. Let me prove that to you. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, go to John 17, verse 5. But be excited. You're like scared. Like, yeah, you're like a puppy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, John 17, verse 5. Yes. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou, thou me with, with thine own self, with the glory which I had uh, with thee before the world was. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Was there any disciple dwelling with God the Father before the creation of the world, sharing in the same glory that the Father had before the world was created? No, no creature. So number one, Jesus shows you the kind of glory he shares with the Father is a glory that no creature shares with the Father. Because no creature, human creature, earthly creature was there with the Father in the same glory before the world was created, right? Yeah. That's number one, right? Yeah. Okay, now reread it one more time. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou, thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Okay, so pay attention. This is the glory that Jesus had before the world was created and the glory he shared with the Father. Now go to John 17, 24. John 17, 24. Okay. Father, I will that... They also whom thou has given me be with me where I am that they may behold my glory, which thou has, has given me for thou loved me before the foundation of the world. Okay, reread re it one more time. John 17, 24. Father, I will that they also whom thou has given me be with me where, where I am that they may behold my glory, which thou has given me, for thou loves me before the foundation of the world. Okay. Are you seeing the connection with verse 5? It sa He says, you love me before the foundation of the world, and I want them to see the glory you gave me because you love me before the foundation of the world. So this glory is the same glory that he mentioned in verse 5, right? Yeah. Right? Are you making the connection, everyone else? Jesus says in John 17, 24, Father, I will that they also whom thou has given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou has given me, for you love me before the foundation of the world. That directly ties in with John 17, 5. And now, Father, glorify me together with thine own self, with the glory I had with you before the world was. So you see, John 17, 24 and John 17, 5, it's referring to the same glory that Jesus had with the Father before the world was created, and before the world was created, the Father was loving the Son, right? Yes. Okay, but you didn't read John 17, 24 carefully. Guys, pay attention so you can learn. John 17, 24, one more time, read it. Father, I will that they also, whom thou has given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou has given me, for thou loves me before the foundation of the world. Did you catch it? They will only behold the glory that Jesus had with the Father. They won't share in it. Oh, okay. See, now the light switch okay, went on, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, Father, I want those that you've given me to be with me where I am, where I am, to see my glory, the glory you gave me. 
Notice they'll behold that glory, but they don't share in that glory. Yeah. Did you catch it? Yes, they they behold it. Get on like to this. That's the glory they Jesus had with the Father before the world was created, which the Father will then give back to the Son, because He loves the Son and has been loving the Son from before the world, which the disciples will see but not share in. Right. Yes. So then, what is the glory that Jesus does give to the disciples? Which is not the glory that only God possesses, which Jesus possesses because he is God, a glory that he possessed before the world was created with the Father. What is the glory he's talking about? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, now go to John 17, 22 again. Okay. One more time. And the glory which thou hast givest me, I have given them that they may be one, even as we are one. Okay, so to understand what glory Jesus is referring to, Read from John 17, verse 18, but we're going to read 17 to 20. So read John 17. The verse is 18, but read 17 to 20. John 17, 17 to 20. Sanctify them through my truth. They word is truth. Thy word. As thy word. Sanctify them yeah, thy through word. thy truth. Yeah, thy word is thy truth. Word. Yeah, go ahead. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so I have also sent them okay. into the world. Pay attention. Like you sent me in the world, I'm going to send them into the world. Keep that in mind. So what is God, okay. Jesus praying? Set them apart by your truth so that now they will be ready to be sent yeah. out into the world by your truth. To do what? Keep reading. And, and for these sakes, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. And 20? Neither I pray for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Okay, you make the connection with 18 and 20. Father, like you set me apart and sent me into the world, I will send them in the world. To do what? I'm sending them Same. into the world so that through their preaching, through the word they'll preach, many will believe on me. You catching that so far as I walk you through this? Yeah. So notice Jesus yeah, yeah, saying... Like the Father sent me in the world to preach the gospel, to get people saved, I now will send them into the world to do the same, to do likewise, preach the gospel, and through their preaching, people will believe, right? Yes. Okay, so you know what glory Jesus is saying that he's giving them? The glory that he manifested on earth through his ministry of miracles. That's the glory. Okay. Let me show you. Go to John 14, read 12 to 14. The glory that he's giving them is the glory Jesus revealed on earth through his ministry, his ministry of miracles, which now they will do. He said John 14, verse 12 to 14. Read slowly. John 14, 12 to 14. So, verily, verily, I say unto you. He that believes on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatever so ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. So Jesus, Father, when he goes to the Father, when Jesus goes to the Father, he will then empower them when he's with the Father to do greater miracles, meaning more miracles than he did. So, but who'll do it? Jesus, when he goes to the Father and they ask in his name. I will do what you ask in my name, right? Keep going. Yes. It says, if, if he shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Read 13 again. And what so whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Glorified. There's the glory. Yeah. Right. I will give them the glory you gave me, the glory that I manifested on earth by the ministry of miracles, which bore witness that the father and the son are one. And so now that glory of ministry where the disciples will do miracles by the power of Jesus, which will then bring glory to the father and son through them. That's the glory he's giving them. Right. 
Yes. So let me show you that the glory that Jesus is giving them is the glory that he manifested on earth, which now they will manifest through the ministry they do, the ministry that Jesus began, but now will continue through them. Okay, now go to John 2.11. When Jesus turned water into the wine, the first miracle, John 2.11, what does that say? I'm getting to it. Everyone else get learning and paying attention, following along, or are you guys asleep and bored? John 2.11. Uh, 2.11. Okay. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that John 2.11. John 2.11. Don't go to 3.11. 3 doesn't look like 2, sir. You're reading John 3.11. Oh, wait, my bad. Okay, my it bad. ain't my bad. It ain't Timmy's bad. It ain't Joey's bad. John 2.11. Okay, this is the beginning of, of miracles that Jesus in, in Cana of, of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples disciples believed on him. Okay, wait, read it again, John 2, 11, one more time. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him. So Jesus already had a glory on earth, right? Other than the glory that the Father gave back to him, right? Yes. So you everyone seeing there's different types of glories. Jesus already had a glory on earth, but the glory that he had with the father that he didn't have while he was on earth, he set it aside and he got it back again when he went to the father. Right. Oh, okay. Well, so it's being, a different glory. Basically you're not, now it's sinking. Well, what do you think? Yeah. Did Jesus not say in John 17, five and now father, Glorify me together with yourself with the glory I had with you before the world was. Meaning he didn't have one. He's on earth, right? Yeah. And then John 17, 24, that's the glory that the disciples will see but will not share in, right? Yes. But wait, it says he already had a glory on earth. That's a different glory. Yeah. What glory did he have on earth? The glory of the miracles. The miracles that he did. The physical miracles was a type of glory that revealed who Jesus truly was. Right? Yes. Now go to John 11, verses 1 of 4. Again, this is now the miracle of Lazarus' resurrection. John 11, verses 1 of 4. Pay attention to verse 4. John 11, 11 verse 4. When Jesus heard that he said this, Sickness is not upon John 11 verses 1 to 4. You're killing me, dude. Why do you skip verses? Oh, Stuck for the law. John 11 okay. verses 1 to 4. Okay. okay. Now a certain man was sick named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of, of Mary and her sister Martha. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and and wiped his feet with john uh, 11 verses 1 of 4 and you keep reading because you're reading too and i'm proud of you see i just want to make sure you're paying attention keep reading brother good man see okay i rattled uh, you now now you're focused right because you thought i was gonna yeah. say you're wrong <laughs> <laughs> because okay you're reading verse two, therefore her sister sent on, on to him say the saying, Lord, and behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, The sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Therapy. Thereby. Yeah, not yeah, what? Therapy. See? Yeah, you thereby. said therapy, right? So you're saying, I need therapy, yeah, huh? Not the thereby. <laughs> oh, therapy, huh? Hint, hint, Sam, you need not therapy. Thereby. Okay, anyway. What did Jesus say in verse 4? Read it one more time. Verse 4, when Jesus heard that, he said, the sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Did you see the miracle of Lazarus' resurrection is a glory that Jesus is manifesting on earth, right? Yes, it's the miracles, right? Okay, so did Jesus have a glory on earth? Yeah, he had a glory on earth. And that glory was connected to what? The glory he had. No. Oh, with the 
The glory that Jesus had on earth was connected with what? Oh, the glory with the disciples. Yeah, the glory that Jesus had on earth was connected with what? The glory that was given to the disciples. What is that glory? The glory of the miracles. Thank you, brother. You restored my hope in humanity. The glory that he honored on his earth is connected with what? Not with who? With what? The glory is connected with the miracles. Thank that, you, that, sir. That he's doing. I'm about to kiss your head. You've been chasing me for three weeks to get an answer. <laughs> and now you're trying to punish me by answering at your own slow pace so that you can slowly simmer me. All right. The glory that Jesus had on earth was connected with what? The glory with the miracles. And what is the glory that Jesus is going to give to the disciples? The glory of the miracles that, that he's doing. So uh, that they're going to do uh, it. Behold it. And how do we know? Because if you read from John 17, 18 to 22, you're going to see, like you sent me into the world, I send them in the world. And all will believe through their words. So that's what he's talking about. That's the glory you gave me. I gave them to carry on that glorious work on earth. So by the power of the miracles, that will bring witness and confirmation that you, Father, and I are one. Right? Yes. Now, John 11, same chapter, verses 11 to 14. 11, 14, okay. Uh, We're almost done. These things... Okay, these things said he and and the father that he saith unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may awaken him out of sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. See, just like you and me are slow in getting stuff, they were slow too, right? Yeah. See, so you're in good company. The disciples are slow, like you're slow and I'm slow. So see, it's okay, right? See, Jesus is saying he's asleep. So okay, he's asleep. He'll wake up. Why are we going to travel two days to go wake him up? Come on. What? Now, if it was me, and they said that to me after I saying that, I'd be looking at one of the rocks, and one of those <laughs> rocks I would have to name Timmy. Timmy, you're my Timmy. But anyway, go ahead, read it, keep reading. So then what did Jesus say? Okay. How 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 about the okay, how about Jesus speak of his death, but they that thought that he had spoken of taken of rest and sleep. Then Jesus said unto them plainly, Lazarus is is dead. I'm about to die by the by the time you finish this verse because it takes like five hours. I'm about to die too, bro, and it ain't going to be sleeping. Keep going, dude. I said all the way to 14. You know I'm about to die in your hands, right? And the problem is you can't resurrect me. And wait, I, I just read 14. Okay, then read it again because the way you're reading, I don't know where you're at anymore. You're killing me. <laughs> okay, read one more time. Read one more time, bro. We're both, you're killing me, I'm killing you. Slow simmer, dude. Go ahead. Read 14 again. Oh, 14. Yes. Then said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. Okay, so he had to explain it because they were super slow like you and me, right? Yeah. And then, But so there's hope. That means if they were slow, right, and yet still, yeah. right, and yet still, by the grace of God, God transformed them and used them mightily. There is hope for you and me. But just do me a favor. Make sure by the time this is done, you don't kill me dead because it ain't sleep. I'm not going to go to sleep. You're going to put me to death because I don't think you can resurrect me. Now, with that said, read John 11, 39. John 11, 39. Okay. Jesus said, take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of, of him that was dead, saith un, unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he hath been dead four days. Now look how slow she is. Jesus just said, 
your brother will rise. And what is she thinking? Oh, but his body is decomposing. His body is stinketh. It stinketh. We're going to puke. See, there's hope for you and me. She's slow too. If you didn't get it, right? Yeah. Now read John 11.40. What's his answer? Jesus, Jesus says unto her, said I not unto thee that if thou uh, what does uh, believe those uh, wait okay I just lost it <laughs> yeah it's okay because you're laughing at me because I'm just a clown in your town that's why you stick around all right go ahead read it again <laughs> Jesus said unto her said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe though shouldest see the glory of God thou shouldest see the glory of God did you see the glory again yeah okay are you connecting it they saw yes, the, glory the glory of, the of God through the resurrection, right? Yeah. Okay, so what's the point? Jesus gives the disciples one type of glory that Jesus manifested on earth, but there's another type of glory that Jesus shares with the Father before the world was created that's not given to any creature and not given to disciples. That glory that Jesus shared with the Father before the world was is a glory that the disciples will see but will not possess. Okay. Is it making sense now? Yes. Now I want you yeah, to walk away to happy. Tell. You know I want you to walk away happy? Why? Because you're not the only slow Christian that ever existed. The disciples were so slow. They go, hey, he's asleep. Well, hey, Lord, if he's asleep, why are we going to walk all these miles to go wake him up? The sister wake him up. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? Lazarus is dead. Oh, oh, oh. Then Jesus tells Martha, your brother shall rise again. I'm the resurrection life. He who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he who believes in live shall never die. Do you believe this? And she goes, yes, Lord. I believe you are the Christ, the son of God. He was to come into the world. That John 11, 23 to 27. They get to the stone, move the stone. Lord, he's been dead for a day. He thinketh. If you move the stone, it's going to be putrid. And the smell, we're going to puke. It's just going to puke. See, so there's hope for you and me, man. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, so did you get your answer now? Yeah. All right, so I just want you to know, you thinketh, okay? All right. Is everyone good? Whatever, yeah, he went silent. I'm what, are good. you still laughing? You're laughing so hard that you can't even say something? <laughs>